Hello, everybody. We're going to be talking about order of operations today. Order of operations can be pretty important, especially when you're on social media as an adult. Why do I say that? As an adult, I've seen things like this posted on Facebook, on Twitter, and people give what they think is the answer. And let me tell you, a lot of people get this wrong. You're not going to be one of those people. You're going to be one of those intelligent people who get it correct. You might just scroll past it, though, like I do. But sometimes I like to challenge myself, so let's go ahead and solve this one. We're going to do it wrong the first time, okay? Because I'll show you what people do and what they expect you're supposed to do when it comes to a problem that has both addition, multiplication, division, um, subtraction. Okay, we have to know the order of operations. That's the point of today's lesson. So we're going to start by doing this the wrong way. All right, this is not what we are learning today. This is just what I would see people do on uh, social media. What they think you're supposed to do, I mean, everything else in uh, life and the American culture, we go from left to right. Uh, and you might be thinking, okay, I need to start from the left and move to the right and work through this problem. If we were to do that, we would do 3 plus 5 first, which is 8. 8 times 8 divided by 2. And then we would move to the next line. Well, 8 times 8, that's a double. We should know our doubles. That's 64 divided by 2. 2 and 64 divided by 2 is 32. Guess what? The wrong answer. And we've already discussed that in the beginning of this. We did get an answer, but it's not the correct one. So let's go ahead and show what would happen if we were to do the order of operations. But first, we're going to go over what we mean or what we're supposed to do first. Let's give the rules of order of operations. So PEMDAS is a mnemonic way of remembering what we need to do with the order of operations. What it stands for is, and this is since I was a kid, I don't understand it. It doesn't really make 100% sense, but this is what we use. And you'll remember it. I've remembered it. And I'm a 30-year-old, okay? And I was taught this in fifth grade or even younger. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What does this actually stand for in the math terms? Okay, let's go ahead and go. So here are the rules of PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. So let's talk about these. So if we had parentheses in our problem, we would have to do those in the very beginning. Anything that's inside of or any operations that are inside of parentheses, that is what we do first. Next, we would look and see if there are any exponents, and we would go ahead and factor those out. Multiplication and division come next. The reason that they are in a box is because we are going to work through multiplication and division from left to right. And that's why this L and R are here with this arrow pointing from the left to the right. So you're going to do those in order that they come left to right. Same thing goes for addition and subtraction. You would move from left to right. You would do any addition or any subtraction in that order in which they come. So let's go ahead and go back to that problem that we looked at at the beginning of this video. So let's go ahead and work through this problem. Remember, we're not going to rewrite it. We're going to keep it the way that it was. So 3 plus 5 times 8 divided by 2 is equal to what? So if we look at our mnemonic device, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, do we have any parentheses? No, there's none. Are there any exponents? No, there's none. We move to multiplication and division, okay? And remember, we have to do it left to right. We're not dividing by 2 first because this multiplication comes first. So we're going to do 5 times 8. Sometimes I underline what I'm doing first or what I'm going to work through just because that helps me understand I'm only working on this one step. Okay, we call this kind of like the pizza slice method as well. We're only going to work through one thing at a time so that if we make a mistake, your teacher can see your mistake and help you figure out what we can help you with and how we can solve um, or help you the next time that you try to work through a problem that deals with PEMDAS. So we're going to do 5 times 8 first here. So we're going to rewrite what we're not doing, which is the 3 plus 5 times 8. Well, 8 fives is equal to 40 divided by 2. All right. 
and we're going to look at the next part of our problem. What are we going to do next? Well, multiplication and division left to right. Um, I have division to do, so I'm going to do this part of my problem next. I'll underline it. So we have 3 plus, what is 40 divided by 2? Well, that's 20 if we split it in half. And then the last thing we have to do is we're just going to add 3 plus 20, because that's our next thing, is any addition or subtraction left to right. And we would get an answer of 23. And we can see how much different is our answer from the first problem that we did. If we take a look at it, our original answer was 32. Is 32 23? No. And this is why order of operations matters when you are working through a problem that has multiple operations in it. So here is our next problem. We have in parentheses 2 squared plus 6 divided by 5 plus 2. So let's refer back to what we learned in our last example. We are going to use PEMDAS to solve these problems. Parentheses first, then exponents, multiplication and division, left to right. And then we're going to do addition and subtraction, left to right. Uh, so if we look at this problem, we do have parentheses. So we have to do whatever is in parentheses first. Uh, so that means we have to do all of this first, whatever is inside of here. Um, if you have parentheses, it's kind of like putting a PEMDAS problem inside of a PEMDAS problem. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm not going to add 6 first inside of my parentheses. I still have to follow these order of operations. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is I need to do my exponents because that's the, the, the second step or the second thing that you're looking for in an order of operations problem. Um, so here we have 2 squared. Well, what this actually means is, I want to write it out, it actually means 2 times 2 plus 6. So we could rewrite the problem like that. Uh, remember when we have an exponent, that just means that you're multiplying this number, you're going to have that multiple times. So if this was 2 to the third power, we would have 2 times 2 times 2. We would have uh, three twos there. So when we go ahead and do this, we're going to work through it. So we're going to do multiplication and division next because that's our next thing. Uh, so we have this right here to do, the 2 times 2. So we have 4 plus 6 divided by 5 plus 2. Do we still have parentheses? We do. We're going to do this right here, the 4 plus 6. So we would get 10 divided by 2, uh, I'm sorry, divided by 5. Happy little accidents right here. Plus 2. 10 divided by 5 is going to be our next step because we're going to do division or multiplication next, right, in our order of operations. We're not going to do addition or subtraction yet. Uh, we would get 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. And that would be our correct answer following the order of operations. So there you have it. Remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. You can challenge your parents with some of these problems and you might be surprised. You might catch them. That would be fun. Have a good day.